Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be using the right hand rule to figure out the direction of angular momentum. So in the last video, I talked about the equation for angular momentum, L equals I times omega, but sometimes they ask for a direction. And this is not obvious, because if we think of a wheel, and a wheel that looks like this, and a wheel that's spinning this way, we would love to say that the direction of angular momentum is like clockwise or counterclockwise. And sometimes that will work, but a lot of times your teacher or professor is going to want to use the right hand rule to figure out the actual direction of angular momentum. And that's what I'm gonna be teaching you today. So before I show you the right hand rule, the first thing we need to do is talk about the six directions. And the six directions are up, down, left, and right. And the two new directions we have are into the page and out of the page. In other words, we're thinking of this in terms of a 3D space. So into the page is this symbol right here. It is basically pointing away from you and into the paper. Then we have out of the page, which is this symbol, a circle with a dot in the middle. This means out of the page, and this is when the direction is pointing towards you or out of the paper. And so we need to know these six directions when using the right hand rule, because if you don't, well then you can't really use right hand rule. So now let me tell you how to use the right hand rule. Keep in mind, right hand rule is something you're going to be using in physics too, electricity and magnetism, but there's like five different right hand rules in that class. And the right hand rule we're doing today is none of those. Anyways, here's how you do the right hand rule. First, I want you to curl your fingers in the direction of spin. Usually that's going to be clockwise or counterclockwise and you're going to, you know, curl your fingers like this in the counterclockwise or the, the clockwise direction. Sometimes it hurts your hand to do it, so if you have to move it around or, or do whatever you can to get the configuration that you want, that's what you got to do. Then after you're curling your fingers, you're going to stick out your thumb and that is going to be the direction of your angular momentum in whichever way your thumb is pointing. So as an example, in the wheel I just drew a minute ago, where it's spinning this way in the clockwise direction, I'm going to be rotating or curling my fingers clockwise like this, and then I'm gonna be sticking out my thumb, and it looks like my thumb, if I do it correctly, is pointing away from me, in other words, into the page. I'm saying into the page, or you can write this symbol here with the X, and that is the direction of my angular momentum. If I had a wheel spinning the opposite way, in other words, counterclockwise, then again, I would rotate my fingers in the counterclockwise direction, stick my thumb out, my thumb is pointing towards me, or out of the page, and that is the direction of our angular momentum, like this. And so really, is that everything you need to know about right hand rule and direction of angular momentum? Yes, that's pretty much it. And now it's just a matter of practicing to get the hang of it. Like for instance, we'll do one more together. This time I have a wheel and I want you to think of it as a wheel on the ground like this, where this is the front of the wheel and this is the back. It is just sitting on the ground and I'm going to be spinning it this way, which I would call probably clockwise, but I also do want you to realize I'm talking about a front view here. So I'm not sure if clockwise or counterclockwise would be the right word for it. But either way, which way does the right hand rule point? Well, if I try and trace these arrows the best I can following the front and the back rule, I would say that it looks like this, how my fingers are curling right now. And if I stick out my thumb, my thumb is pointing down, which means down is the correct answer for this one. And if you're confused by this, then it just means you gotta do more examples you can find them online, other videos, in physics textbooks, just Google searches. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.